now on Coast TV News. The very dry conditions continue for Del Mar, but with high pressure in control. A cool down is in store for the end of the week with a dry and cooler weekend. More on the dry stretch and your complete forecast coming up. Proposed hotel update. I'll tell you why the Bellhaven Hotel purchased property on Baltimore Avenue. Jagsboro alcohol sales decisions. We have when a last call in the Sussex County town could occur. Here's a home run shot for Bateman. Touchdown Ravens. Five touchdown passes and fifth straight win. We have Lamar Jackson's big night in Tampa Bay. This is Coast TV News Today. And it is Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024. Good morning, I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, I'm Paige Marley. Thanks for being up with us during our 5 o'clock hour. And we just saw Ravens fans mm -hmm. waking up this morning with a big win. Boy, they are on a roll. They are on a roll, and that's exciting. Anytime there's a Del Marva team, it's always exciting. But I do have a little favoritism because they are from Maryland. Yes. So they're not my team, but I have some respect for the Ravens. I know, I know, yeah. I know that. Thank and you. And then you got your wa Washingtons in first place. Not Ravens bad. are in first place. It not could be... Bad. Dare I say a Delmarva Super Bowl? Are we getting ahead of ourselves? We yes, might be we are. a little bit. We like to do that though. But yeah, let's not get too far ahead. We'll bring in Bob now. Bob is back with a look at your forecast. I missed you, Bob. It's been a uh -huh. while. She two page and uh, boy, the gang's all back now. Uh, on this Tuesday, we are looking at temperatures that are cool out there. It's clear 45 in Salisbury and Del Mar 49 in Seaford. So definitely a heavier jacket is due inland areas and then 50s to around 60 in Rehoboth. So a little milder at the beaches. Winds are light from the west as we're looking at clear skies. Our dry stretch continues as we have high pressure in place and you can see hardly a cloud in the sky. So that's going to be the case again today. Here's future cast. We're looking at temperatures this morning in the 40s and 50s could be a little bit of patchy fog so just be careful out there use the low beam headlights mid morning we're into the 50s and then by noon look at this mid 70s 75 in Millsboro Seaford 74 cooler 60s along the coast and then by the afternoon I think we're well into the 70s I think some lower 80s especially well inland and then 60s at the coast and as we go into this evening still dry and mild with temperatures into the 60s day part forecast have the sunglasses handy for sure Wall-to-wall -wall sunshine as temperatures warm, I think, into the lower 80s. Later on, the dry stretch continues with up and down temperatures, much more on the temperatures and that, well, the drought conditions coming up in just a little bit. Thank you, Bob. In with Beach, over the past few years, the effort has been made to build a hotel called the Bellhaven above Candy Kitchen on the boardwalk. Now some plans for that project are moving forward. Coast TV reporter Elisa Weber is live in Rehoboth Beach. Elisa, off-site parking was recently approved, actually, for that hotel. Yeah, Matt and Paige, I'm currently standing on Baltimore Avenue at the lot where that off-site parking could be built. And we say off-site parking because the Bellhaven Hotel is supposed to be built on Rehoboth Avenue and Wilmington Avenue. And recently, the city approved a variance that eliminates the requirement for hotels parking to be on site. And this change gives the hotel the opportunity to add an additional 15 rooms, the original 92 already approved. Here on Baltimore Avenue, the hotel can have up to 29 parking spots and there will be up to 78 on-site underground on Rehoboth Avenue. And another hotel is looking to be built right here on Baltimore Avenue. So there were a lot of concerns about traffic that were brought up at that meeting. But later on, we're going to hear from one business owner on Baltimore Avenue who says this change will actually be good for the street. Back to you. Lisa Weber, thank you for that. New this morning, Seaford officials are attempting to get ahead of any potential water issues. The city is putting together a plan that will use state money. Mayor Matt McCoy and the city council could vote tonight to approve their ability to receive $300,000 from the state of Delaware Department of Health and Social Services Division of Public Health. And this will be used to conduct a feasibility study to test for water contaminants and to build test wells. Seaford officials say the goal is to uh, develop a treatment policy for potential contaminants to the city's water. Some developing news in Dagsboro. Town Council voted not to change the hours of alcohol sales. A proposed ordinance would have limited the hours for bars and restaurants from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Delaware law says alcohol is allowed to be sold between 8 a.m. and 1 a.m. We went to Dagsboro to hear what people in the businesses that sell alcohol beverages think about all of this. Here's what one owner told us. From a financial um, perspective, um, 
you know, if they do change the times, it, again, it, it's, it's going to be a, a burden on everyone, not just us, every other establishment. But um, if they do keep it in place, and which we hope they do, um, you know, it would be a relief. We will have more on what went down at the Dogs Bro Council meeting coming up on Coast TV News today. Happening tonight in Lewis. Next step on the bike plan. It's been in development for over a year as recommendations to it will be reviewed by the Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Committee. Short-term plans that could see action are on West 4th Street with the placement of markings on the road. Similar action is being proposed for a section of 3rd Street along with improving where it intersects with Savannah Road and intersection improvements on Sussex Drive in the area of the elementary school. All right, just two weeks to go until Election Day. Former Maryland Governor Larry Hogan making an appeal to Hispanic voters. Hogan dropping an ad on Monday. We're going to show it to you. The ad features a testimonial from Centro de Habla España CEO Dendry Aguila. He runs a business in Prince George's County, which is where his opponent, Democrat Angela Alsobrooks, is the county executive. According to Washington Post reporting back in 2018, Hogan received 48% of the Hispanic vote in his successful bid for re-election as governor. Also, Brooks was also on the campaign trail over the weekend. This is video of her and fellow Democrat, Maryland Governor Wes Moore. This could end up being the most expensive Senate campaign in Maryland history. Also, Brooks has a slight edge over Hogan, having raised over $43 million. According to the political website The Hill, also Brooks continues to hold a nearly 10-point lead over Hogan. This became open seat after current Senator Ben Cardin announced he would not be seeking re-election. Also Brooks is attempting to keep the seat for the Democrats. Happening tonight, Vice President Kamala Harris will have a sit-down interview with NBC's Haley Jackson. As Alice Barr now shows us, both Harris and former President Trump are promoting early voting. Early voting begins in four states today, including Battleground, Wisconsin, joining the record numbers in several states who've already had their say. I want to make sure my vote gets in. Vice President Harris spent part of Monday in Wisconsin attacking former President Trump for refusing to debate her again, pulling out of recent interviews and raising eyebrows at his rallies. He is pulling out of interviews left, right and center. I think it does lead us and it should lead us to observe that he is increasingly unstable. She campaigned alongside former Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney with stops in Michigan and Pennsylvania, sharpening her appeal to Trump skeptical Republicans in must win states. We might not agree on every issue, but but she is somebody that you can trust and someone that our children can look up to. Former President Trump focused on North Carolina. I will end inflation. I will stop the invasion. Touring damage from Hurricane Helene in Asheville. I will support and totally complete the rebuilding of every region and town and city that was devastated by the hurricane. And Both he and the Republican National Committee chairman saying they have not seen any signs of cheating in the election. We're so impressed and uh, I think they have a pretty good system here. And Though at a rally hours later, the former president renewed his claims without evidence that there could be widespread fraud. The vote counter is more important than the candidate. That's been true, unfortunately. Raising doubts as the votes flow in. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Search and rescue operations are underway in Roswell, New Mexico. After historic rainfall triggered flash flooding over the weekend, at least two people there are dead. Hundreds more had to be rescued as fast-moving water overtook parts of that city. It swept through homes and businesses. It even flipped vehicles. It left mounds of mud and debris behind. According to the National Weather Service, nearly six inches of rain fell in just a matter of hours, higher than the previous record that was set back in 1901. It was a big night for Lamar Jackson in Tampa Bay. The reigning MVP of the league threw five touchdown passes in the Ravens' 41-31 win over the Buccaneers. This is Baltimore's fifth straight win as they remain tied for first in the AFC North. And more on this game later on Coast TV News Today. All right, looking forward to that. But right now we're just getting started on Coast TV News Today. Yeah, coming up, bus driver boost. What is being considered in Ocean City to deal with longer wait times for bus pickups? Also ahead, dealing with the drought conditions, how this dry weather is affecting businesses along our coast. And Chick-fil-A's App Adventure, how the restaurant chain is looking to bring more than just food to families. Coast TV News Today is back after this. 
As temperatures drop, FH Fur invites you to be part of something truly heartwarming, our Fall into Comfort toy drive. Through December 15th, for only $29, the experts at FH Fur will perform a comprehensive heating system inspection, ensuring your home stays snug through the chilly months ahead. The best part? 100% of the proceeds will go to the United States Marine Corps Reserve's Toys for Tots. Schedule your heating inspection today with FH Fur. 877-CALL-FUR. FHFur.com. Feel like you need to get away? Fisherman's Wharf Adventures has a getaway for you. Hop aboard our fleet of boats for fishing, dolphin cruises, and whale watching, or just lounging with friends and enjoying a cocktail. We offer full and half day fishing, evening cruises, events, and even private charters too. Enjoy the adventure and take in the magic of the sea. With three generations in the business, we guarantee you'll enjoy the ride. What are you waiting for? Check us out online and call to book your trip today. Come home to Crawl Street Tavern, where everyone's a local. Home to the Crawl Daddy Light Craft Beer. Start your day off right with breakfast classics. Indulge in your favorite pub grub, amazing wings, and killer crab cakes. Live music every weekend. Located on Wicomico Street. Just steps away from the Ocean City Boardwalk. Open every day starting at 8 a.m. Introducing Paisano, the authentic pizza oven by Granite Stone. Now make the world's most delicious pizza with real stone right in your own home. Mm. You simply set it and let it make golden, crispy, extra cheesy stone-baked pies in under six minutes. You can get your Paisano pizza oven for just three easy payments of $39.99. Plus, we'll ship your entire order free. Call 1-800-608-5198 or order online at buypaisano.com. Just about 5.12 on this Tuesday morning, 55 in Dover, a chilly start out there. It's clear and, of course, dry. 45 in Salisbury and Del Mar, 49 in Georgetown, so the cooler 40s inland. A little milder at the beach, 60 in Rehoboth right now. Winds are light. That will be the case all day. We're looking at clear skies. Do watch out for a little bit of patchy fog. Otherwise, it's more of the same. High pressure and dry weather and sunshine. Here is the bus stop forecast for the kiddos. Make sure they're dressed appropriately. A heavier jacket definitely uh, is in order. Chilly start, 48 degrees with lots of sunshine. And then heading home, we're in good shape. Lots of sunshine, 79, sunny and warm at that time. This morning, a Milton man is facing over five felony charges. These are related to home improvement fraud. According to Delaware State Police, Christopher Russell worked with Great Outdoors, Sunrooms, and Shade Solutions. He signed contract with five people receiving over $118,000. But get this never started or completed contracted work. Russell was released on a $23,000 unsecured bond. A traffic update to tell you about in Seaford. Work is being done that will close part of Nylon Boulevard for a couple of days. Here is the area that we're talking about. It's between Harrington Street and Pennsylvania Avenue and also Elm Street from Nylon Boulevard to South Willie Street. According to city officials, this is for the extension of a sewer main this area will be closed from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. each day. Work is expected to be complete by late Friday afternoon. The Girl Scouts are, of the USA are raising membership dues 160% over the next two years. The National Council voted to hike prices from $25 to $45 come 2026. In 2027, dues will increase again to $65 per scout. Still a smaller increase than the $85 they originally proposed. Membership dues are the organization's largest source of revenue. The Girl Scouts have faced some cash flow issues stemming from the pandemic, inflation, and changing consumer behaviors. All right, check this out now. Chick-fil-A stepping into a new entertainment venture that will bring more than just some good food to families. The fast food chain is launching a new app called Chick-fil-A Play. The app was designed for parents and kids in mind to have the ultimate digital playground experience at their fingertips. The app will include original animated shows, games, podcasts, kid-friendly crafts, and ebooks. The Chick-fil-A Play app will be available on November 18th. Coming up this morning on Coast TV News Today, business drying up how those along the coast are adjusting to some drought conditions.
Now we're seeing a clear and chilly start this morning. Salisbury, there's SU 45. Good visibility. Watch for a little bit of fog. We're looking at another dry day, and of course, the drought continues. Uh, in fact, the dry weather continues for the foreseeable future with some cool downs in between. More on the drought conditions, our dry streak coming up in your full forecast in two minutes. Listen to 93.5 The Beach, Delmarva's rock station. Ride the wave of Delmarva's vibrant coastal vibes with Coast Life. From hidden gems to sun-kissed trends and captivating local tales. Dive deep and immerse yourself in our coastal rhythm. Catch Coast Life weekdays at 4 on Coast TV. Other companies use fiberglass insulation in their crawl spaces, but home performance experts like FLC Energy know that something like cotton candy isn't the right product for this application. FLC's continuous spray foam system seals out the smallest cracks, blocking out moisture, pests, and it maintains an average temperature of about 70 degrees year-round. So ask yourself, do you think cotton candy is going to carry its weight in your crawl space, or do you want a system that's built to last a lifetime? To learn more about FLC Energy, visit Delmarva Experts on WBOC.com. You like to keep your beard perfectly groomed, but she hates all that mess. Now there's VacuTrim by Bell & Howell, the total body shaver that trims your hair and vacuums it up. VacuTrim stainless steel blades give you a precision cut, while the built-in vacuum captures the hair shavings. It has 20 trim settings to shape your beard and tame body hair with no mess. Get VacuTrim with free shipping for only $39.95. Call 1-800-263-0608. That's 1-800-263-0608 or go to VacuTrim.com. Draper Media, an equal opportunity employer, is dedicated to provide broad outreach regarding job vacancies at the station. We seek the help of local organizations in referring qualified applicants to our station. Organizations that wish to receive our vacancy information should email humanresources at wboc.com. Yep, working in the ER requires a special breed of healthcare worker, adrenaline junkies. It's fast paced here, go, 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 you know? Everything moves quicker. Most things move quicker. Listen to Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3. We're Delmarva Proud. It's 517 on this Tuesday morning and we are checking out the live scene in Ocean City. Clear skies in our view. Clear skies, Bob, also means uh, another dry day. Yeah, you know, under normal circumstances, Matt, that would be great. Hey, beautiful day. Everything's great. Uh, not everything is great. Of course, our stretch of dry weather continues. We are now 25 days without measurable rain. The last time was September 27th, and at that time, we only picked up 13 hundredths. Uh, the record is 34 days. That was back in 2001, and in the next couple of days, we'll be cracking the top five driest stretches we've seen. Seen. And of course, the longest one right now is 34 days. That was back in 2001. You can see the other dates. And there is fifth place, 27 days back in 1965. So we're at day 25 now. So we'll be in the top five here in the next couple of days. And no rain is in sight. But it's chilly out there this morning. 45 in Del Mar, 49 in Georgetown, red and 48 degrees. A little milder at the beaches, upper 50s from Bethany Beach to Rehoboth. Winds are calm or light. They'll be coming out of the west today. And uh, that'll bring in more warm, dry air. We're looking at clear skies right now. Maybe a little bit of patchy fog. Otherwise, it's high pressure. You can see all the clear skies over the top of us, stretching back into the Ohio Valley as well. What we're seeing is a front across the plains, and even there, just some light showers across the Midwest from Minnesota back through Missouri. That's it. You know, we're just looking at very dry weather the next several days. Here's future cast this morning, looking at temperatures into the upper 40s, some 50s at the beaches. By mid morning, we're around 50 in Del Mar, 57 in Millsboro, and mid to upper 50s at the coast. By noon, definitely want to have that lunch outside looking really good. 75 in Georgetown and Millsboro, Seaford 74, 65 in Fenwick Island, so a little cooler at the beaches. While inland, you're into the upper 70s, and I think we will see some lower 80s mid afternoon. 
And then this evening, naturally, we cool back down. By midnight, we're in the 50s. And then by the morning hours, maybe some high clouds. We have a distant storm out to sea called Oscar. Yeah, it's a tropical system. We're not going to see it, but maybe just some high clouds from that. And tomorrow morning, we're in the 60s and then mid-70s by noon. By the afternoon, mid to upper 70s and then close to 80 degrees. And then after that, we will see a cold front coming through and that will cool us down as we have warm conditions as we go through your Wednesday. Then a trough comes in and that will bring cooler weather as we go into Thursday. And then those temperatures do moderate a little bit by Saturday. Then we'll cool it off by Sunday. So up and down temperatures. Here's your Paul Davis seven day forecast. 81 with sunshine today. Some cool mornings. 79 Wednesday. And then there's that temperature drop with that front. Mostly sunny on Thursday. 67. A lot of sunshine Friday, 69. Of course, we've been talking about a lot of sunshine lately. Saturday, 72, partly cloudy skies. Then another cool down by Sunday, 62, upper 30s by Monday morning, and then 64 on Monday. So some cooler weather is on the way, and uh, we have an umbrella giveaway winner. We haven't had the need for an umbrella, but Alan Norman from Georgetown is our winner today. Congratulations, Alan, on your brand new umbrella. Hopefully, you can use it here in the next few weeks. Uh, congratulations on your umbrella from Paul Davis and Coast TV. Yeah, a little bit, Bob. We're going to talk more about this drought. Another day without rain, as Bob mentioned. Another business affected. Matt Carter runs Quest Adventures, and usually during this time of year, he's busy setting up bonfires. But since a burn ban was ordered, things have slowed down for him. It's the season of a lot of our locals trying to enjoy their time, and um, we've had to probably cancel about five to ten fires since it's been in place. Carter is still taking reservations, but for when that burn ban lifts. And this brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know what concerns you most about the drought. So let's take a look at the updated results. All right, 60% of you, if that fire risk, I guess you know, you're supporting those burn bans, you understand why they're in place, makes sense. 27% of you concerned about the water supply, 11% the environment, 2% the economic impact. So a lot of options there. Go ahead and vote. Go to coasttv.com if you haven't yet, or you can vote on our app. Coming up, tackling wait time, the plan being reviewed in Ocean City to improve its bus system. Stay with us on Coast TV News Today. Positive, focused. Supportive and goal-oriented. These are just a few qualities of coaches who inspire their athletes. Each month, the Preston Automotive Group will select a coach who makes a difference and make a $500 donation to their organization. Then at the end of the year, three of these coaches will receive an extra donation to their program. Nominate your coach today at DelmarvaSportsNetwork.com under the Features tab. Delmarva Sports Network Coach Who Makes a Difference. Brought to you by Preston Automotive Group. For over 50 years, our mission at Herker Property Maintenance has been very clear. Deliver exceptional curb appeal to neighborhoods, businesses, and property management. Our team of highly trained professionals are committed to making your properties look attractive, clean, and professional, limiting your risk of issues arising. From landscaping to full service exterior maintenance, Herker's your one-stop solution. Send your RFP to Herker Property Maintenance now and discover how Herker can save you thousands and elevate your property curb appeal. You need to lose weight, but you hate lugging out that big blender for a healthy shake. Hi, Chef Daniel Green here with my Bionic Blade, the new handheld blender that's rechargeable, so you can make a fast, healthy shake anywhere. Designed like this shake bottle you take to the gym, it has the motor and blades built right into the lid. Bionic Blade quickly creates smooth drinks just like the big blenders. But this is portable, so you can make a shake anywhere. Make pina coladas right by poolside. Even grind coffee beans and make a quick, refreshing iced coffee pick-me-up on the go. Get the Bionic Blade for just $29.99 and we'll even ship it to you free. But wait, order now and get two sipping lids, a second large blender container, plus the sports lid. Yours free. You'll get this entire portable blending system for just $29.99. Call or click now. To order, call 1-800-709-7148 or go to buybionicblade.com. So call 1-800-709-7148 or you can order online at buybionicblade.com. 
The hammers are smashing, the glasses are raising, and the fun times await at Bushel Sports Bar and Grill in Lewis. Explore our selection of off-season entrees and mouth-watering signature sandwiches that are sure to satisfy any palate. Relax and enjoy local craft brews and specialty cocktails watching your favorite sports team, or compete with your friends at some eight ball, and indulge yourself with year-round all-you-can-eat crabs served by the bucketful and seasoned to perfection. For good vibes with a friendly atmosphere, visit Bushel's on Coastal Highway today. Download the free Coast TV First Alert weather app today. If you're on the buses in Ocean City, you may have noticed that they're taking a little longer than usual to pick you up. Last week, the Ocean City Council debated new ways to hire more part-time bus drivers for next summer. Ocean City had fewer drivers this year compared to 2023, and the town is now considering increasing pay and also stepping up recruiting efforts. We went to Ocean City to learn if people there think this will be a good solution, and here's what one woman told us. I wish they would just to make sure that, you know, everybody gets to where they need to go. And the council hopes that by adding these incentives for part-time bus drivers that there will be more for next summer, leading to quicker pickup times. If you are driving through the circle in Georgetown, you might notice the cupola is back on top of the Sussex County Courthouse. It had been down since May for refurbishment, including replacing the wood rot and repainting it, but it's back. It's up now for the foreseeable future. We're joined again by First Alert Meteorologist Bob Trahi. Paige and Bob, I think if you liked Monday, you're really going to like today. <laughs> and the day before, if you like that day, you're going to really like today and then tomorrow and so on and so on. Uh, just very dry conditions continue. That means great beach weather. Cool starts in Fenwick Island and into Ocean City. Temperatures in the 50s there and then warming into the 70s as we go into this afternoon. I think we're about you know, 6 to 10 degrees cooler at the coast than inland areas. Inland areas closer to 80 degrees. Lewis and Rehoboth looking at a lot of sunshine for you. Beautiful ferry ride up to Cape May today. Pretty flat water. Waves only one to two feet on the ocean. UV index is moderate, so make sure you have your sunscreen. On the bay side, Cambridge waves one foot 50 in Cambridge to begin the day. And then we're warming into the mid 70s later this afternoon. A little cooler in Crisfield. Sunshine and close to 70 for you. Up and down temperatures continue, as do the drought conditions. Much more on this dry stretch coming up in the next half hour. Bob, also coming up on Coast TV News today, last call consideration. We're taking a look at the action last night in Dagsboro when alcohol sales in bars and restaurants can be sold. Offsite parking plans, the change in Rehoboth Beach that could see additional parking for a hotel project could also lead to additional rooms. And bike plan proposals. We're looking at the action that could take place tonight in Lewis that's aimed at bicyclists. Coast TV News today returns in a moment. We know Angela also Brooks got caught taking illegal tax breaks, owing $59,000 in back taxes. And she's now getting a deal. No penalties and a 25% reduction in interest. Now the New York Times reports also Brooks lied on official mortgage documents and also Brooks was sued twice for not paying her bills. Thousands in water, sewer and other expenses. What scandal will they report next? Maryland's future is responsible for the content of this advertising. I needed to do some safe floor. I slipped in my old floor and I broke my kneecap. I called Pinnacle, they came. The team was very professional. And then when I came home two o'clock, my garage was done. That's the best part. I loved it. Pinnacle did a really great job. They did this beautiful floor and safe to walk. Call Pinnacle. You will not be disappointed. You'll be happy, like I am. With all the choices of services on Delmarva, where do you even begin? Trust experts of various fields with Delmarva Experts. Sponsored by Kitchen Concepts Plus, Chesapeake Eye Center, Apple Discount Drugs, FLC Energy, Spicer Brothers Construction, Mattress Peddlers, Homewell Care Services, Robinson's Jewelry and Coin Shop, Delmarva Acupuncture and Wellness Center, Mast Audiology Services, Riptide Restoration, and Delmarva Day. Delmarva Experts, local experts right when you need them. Here's Dr. Ron Leonard, our elder statesman. Now, how long have you worked here, Dr. Ron? Probably decades. Centuries. We used to drill holes in patients' heads to release evil spirits, but hey, that's the 80s for you. Now on 
Coast TV News. The very dry conditions continue for Del Mar, but we've got high pressure in control. A cool down is in store for the end of the week with a dry and cooler weekend. I'll have the details coming up. Baltimore Avenue in Rehoboth Beach is getting busier. I'll give you the details about the Bell Haven's new approval for offsite parking. Dogsboro decides on their drink times. We have the vote on an ordinance attempting to reduce the hours of adult beverage sales. Proactive water plan as CFAT officials look to keep it safe to drink. This is Coast TV News Today. October 22nd, 2024. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, Paige. Good morning. Thank you all for joining us. I'm Paige Marley. Time is 529 as we make our way in this Tuesday morning. And it's another one with dry conditions. That has been a big factor, it seems like, for at least a couple weeks now. Yeah, it does feel that way. You know, a lot of our umbrella winners still come collect your umbrellas because you'll need them at some point. I'd like to see you. But yeah, we'll come say hi, but yeah, you won't need them for a while. So we'll bring in Bob right now. Bob, when do you think we could maybe see some rain? Boy, uh, maybe November. Oh, wow. I, that is the truth. I, I, I really don't see anything between now and Halloween. Maybe a, a slight chance by that time, but I tell you, it looks very dry. Can you believe the umbrella winner from late September still has not used their umbrella yet? That's pretty amazing. We're looking at dry and chilly conditions this morning. 45 in Del Mar and Salisbury, 48 in Redden, 60 in Ocean City, 57 in Rehoboth. So a little milder at the beaches. Wind's really not a factor there. Very, very light as we're looking at clear skies. Maybe a little bit of patchy fog out the door. Otherwise, we're looking at clear skies. Pretty much that rinse repeat forecast. High pressure building in from the west keeps us high and dry. Future cast this morning. Definitely warm up the car a little bit. We're in the 40s inland areas. 50s at the coast by mid morning. Uh, any kind of fog will burn off close to 60 in Georgetown and Millsboro. Then we're into the mid 70s shortly afternoon around 74 in Seaford, but cooler 60s from Fenwick Island to Dewey Beach. So a little cool there. The temperatures in the upper 70s close to 80 as we go into the afternoon inland areas. Then a pleasant evening on the way. As I mentioned earlier, a nice ferry ride over to Cape May and back. Winds are light and skies are clear and temperatures warming through the 50s into the 60s then into the 70s late morning into the afternoon. All right, Bob, thank you. For the past few years, a builder has been trying to put a hotel called the Bellhaven above the Candy Kitchen right now on the Rehoboth Beach Boardwalk. And now plans for the project are moving forward. Coast TV News reporter Elisa Weber is live in Rehoboth Beach, and Elisa, off-site parking was recently added for the hotel. Yeah, Matt and Paige, I'm currently standing on Baltimore Avenue, and this is where the new parking for that hotel was just approved. And this is off-site parking because the Bellhaven Hotel actually is expected to go two streets away on Rehoboth Avenue and Wilmington Avenue. And there will be parking underground there, but this is additional off-site parking. That was recently approved, a variant was approved that eliminated the requirement for all of the hotel's on-site parking. And this will allow for 15 more parking spaces and 15 more hotel rooms to the original 92 already approved. Here on Baltimore Avenue, the hotel can have up to 29 parking spots and there will be up to 70 on-site underground on Rehoboth Avenue. Another hotel is looking to go on Baltimore Avenue, which means there will be more cars on this street and people express fears at the public meeting that this will create more traffic, but one business owner has a different take. Because it's a very quaint street. Um, but I also like the idea of having it here, so that means a lot more foot traffic on our little street that a lot of people aren't aware that Baltimore Avenue exists. So just make it pretty and subtle visually. The board says that the hotel can have a maximum of 107 hotel rooms, and the date as to when construction will begin has not been announced yet. Back to you. All right, Elisa, thank you so much. Limiting the hours Dagsboro businesses can sell alcohol, that was a vote Monday night by the town council. What was considered is this, having last call at 11 p.m. And as Coast TV news reporter Brendan Conroy shows us the decision that was ultimately reached. Last call for Dagsboro will not be changing anytime soon. Everybody's just having a good time. The town council met Monday where ultimately they decided to vote down an ordinance that would have shortened the window in which alcohol sales are allowed. So where do the rules stand? Bars and restaurants can start serving booze at 9 a.m. and they have to stop serving at 1 a.m. David Elliott owns Delmarva Billiards and Sports Bar and he's thrilled with how things have shaken it's, it's out. 
from a financial um, perspective, um, you know, if they do change the times, it, again, it, it's, it's going to be a, a burden on everyone, not just us, every other establishment. But um, if they do keep it in place, and which we hope they do, um, you know, it would be a relief. While the hours haven't changed, fines for violating the current rules have been beefed up. Any establishment caught selling before or after the set times will be hit with a $1,000 fine for the first offense. Second offense is $2,000 and a week suspension of their liquor license. Third offense, five grand and a six month suspension. The town should isolate the problem directly, as we've discussed before, uh, through the penalty system that's going to be brought up tonight. While the fines are something for business owners to pay close attention to, Bianni Cordoba, who owns La Dama Mexican Restaurant, is just relieved the hours are staying the same. No, I'm so happy. Um, you know, I can't emphasize anymore to God and to everybody that supported for having the hours stay the same. Um, nothing will change. For some, tonight's ruling will be a reason to raise a glass and toast to good fortune, an outcome influenced by dozens of people who went to a town council meeting to fight for their right to party. Since the hours in which businesses are legally allowed to sell alcohol are not changing, that means places like Delmarva Billiards and La Dama are able to stay open the same amount of time. But that just means they'll have to be extra careful to not sell any alcohol after 1 a.m. or they might be facing some pretty big fines. In Dagsboro, Brendan Conroy, Coast TV News. Here this morning, being proactive when it comes to its water. That's what CFED officials are attempting to do if they can get money from the state of Delaware. A vote by Mayor Matt McCoy and the City Council could take place tonight to approve their ability to receive $300,000 from the State of Delaware Department of Health and Social Services Division of Public Health. This will be used to conduct a feasibility study to test for water contaminants and to build test wells. Seaford officials say the goal here is to develop a treatment policy for potential contaminants in the city's water. Happening tonight, Lewis could be taking the next step on its bike plan as recommendations to it will be reviewed by the Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Committee. Short-term plans that could see action are on West 4th Street with the placement of markings on the road. Similar actions being proposed for a section of 3rd Street along with improving where it intersects with Savannah Road. For Bay Avenue, the committee is recommending signs to direct bicyclists to and from Savannah Road and intersection improvements on the Sussex Drive in the area of the elementary school. Two weeks to go until Election Day, former Maryland Governor Larry Hogan is making an appeal to Hispanic voters. Hogan dropping this ad on Monday. The ad features a testimonial from Centro Diabla Hispana CEO DeAndre Aguila. She runs a business in Prince George's County, which is where his opponent, Democrat Angela Alsobrooks, is the county executive. And according to Washington Post reporting in 2018, Hogan received 48% of the Hispanic vote in his successful bid for re-election as governor. Also, Brooks was also on the campaign trail over the weekend. This is video of her and fellow Democrat Maryland Governor Wes Moore. This could end up being the most expensive Senate campaign in Maryland history. Also, Brooks has a slight edge over Hogan, having raised over $43 million. Early voting in Maryland begins just two days and will run through Halloween. Voting hours for each day will be from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. There's one location in Worcester County in Ocean City, the PAL Convention Center. We have a full list of all Eastern Shore sites that can be found on Coast TV News app and the website. A lot more news to get to. Don't go anywhere. Still coming up this morning, rain ravaging Italy. The dangerous situation being dealt with there by first responders. Jackson 5, big night for the Ravens and their MVP quarterback against the Buccaneers. And Code Purple Homeless Help, how these tents are getting used to get people in need back into society. Stick with us on Coast TV News today. Elevate your business and engage more customers with Draper Media. Our diverse network of media properties such as WBOC, Coast TV, 93.5 The Beach, and 1025 WBOC reaches over a half a million Delmarva residents across various channels like television, radio, social media, and digital platforms. Enhance your brand's visibility across the Delmarva region with Draper Media. Our passionate team of media specialists and content creators are dedicated to showcasing your brand through engaging commercials, dynamic drone footage, eye-catching graphic and web design, and social media branding. Share your brand's story on our popular programs, capturing the attention of your target audience. 
Trust your brand with Draper Media, a family-oriented company serving the Delmarva community. Contact Frank Hamilton today at fhamilton at wboc.com to get started. How many times have you tried to clean a stubborn mess but end up with no success? What you need is the all-new waterproof Ruby Horsepower, the new cordless and rechargeable power scrubber that cleans faster and easier, guaranteed. Watch, baked on oven grease is no match. It blasts away dirt and grime in no time. The power comes from our rotating brushes spinning at 350 RPM. The incredible torque fights calcium, milk, do mold and more. Take it in the kitchen where it busts through caked on crud or outside and tackle tough tasks with ease. Get your Ruby horsepower with four additional attachments all for just $39.99. Great news, they're in stock and ready to ship. Due to high demand, only two per order. Order now. Call 1-800-455-0217. That's 1-800-455-0217 or visit horsepowerscarber.com. So call 1-800-455-0217 now. Just about 540 on this clear and chilly start. Tidal Health Cam and Salisbury are looking dry on the roads, 45. And good visibility as well. Could be a little bit of patchy fog. Otherwise, it's chilly out there. Del Mar 45, Seaford and Georgetown 49. A little milder at the beaches with mid to upper 50s. No wind and we'll see light winds today as we're looking at clear skies. And aside from the patchy fog, looking at another day, another dry day as the drought goes on as high pressure is building in. Here's our drive cast. Green light this morning. It's a chilly start for the morning commute. Make sure you warm up the car a little bit. Then sunny and much warmer this afternoon. Temperatures in the 70s to near 80 degrees. Remember, another way to get your forecast is the Coast TV First Alert weather phone. It's your forecast just a call away. Sponsored by Baird, Mandalas, Broxted, and Federico. Thank you, Bob. Some developing news now in Lewis, where tents can be seen off Route 1 near the old Troop 7 building. Those tents have been put up by Code Purple to house the homeless for the next 45 days. Code Purple says the tent village aims to have a structure and rules and that most people in those tents were living in the woods next door. I remember we started this because of a sanitation issue. So we knew them living in the woods uh, without, without trash facilities and without um, toilet facilities. Um, it was becoming a health problem, right? Um, that's when we contacted the state and said, look, we, we, we need to address this issue. This village will be open until November 30th, where those living there will then move to a shelter for the rest of the winter. Ravens offense has been on a roll of late, averaging over 33 points a game during the four-game win streak that they brought into Tampa Bay. And last night, the Buccaneers did not have an answer. The Ravens actually trailed at one point 10 nothing, And then in the second quarter, Lamar Jackson dumps it to Mark Andrews, and the Ravens are on the board. Later in the quarter, it's a screen pass to Justice Hill. Hill has a wall of blockers to the end zone, and the Ravens have their first lead of the night at 14-10. Here's the play that put the game away. We go third quarter. Jackson loads it up, and there is Rashad Bateman, 49 yards for the score. Let's make it five in a row for the Ravens, thanks to a 41-31 win over the Buccaneers. The Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. The field hockey season is winding down across Delmarva. Lake Forest is having a solid season and they're trying to keep it rolling with its third straight win. Up in Felton, Lake Forest hosting Caravel Academy. Caravel corner attempt hits a Lake Forest defender in the foot for the foul, earning the Buccaneers a penalty stroke. And Haley Haynes steps and lifts it perfectly into the corner of the net. Caravel strikes first, hits one to nothing. To the second, Lakes Miley Wilkie finds Rylan McCloskey with the reverse sweep and Lacey Houston is on the rebound, slamming it into the backboard to tie the game at one. Same score in the third, Spartans corner Carmella Gannon to Ella Robbins, spin dodge and pass to Bryn String. Her shot is finished by Ashley Robbins, Lake up 2-1, but Caravel wasn't done. In the fourth, Haynes evades two defenders, then drills this drive to the left corner of the backboard. Game tied at two to seven on seven overtime. Caravel on the move with a chance in the circle. Ends up with Abigail Lum who pushes it to the left corner of the cage. Caravel wins it in overtime three to two. The Spartans rack up the regular season on Thursday against Indian River. That'll do it for sports. Have a great day everyone. 
Tonight on DSN at 6, it is the Bayside Conference Field Hockey Championship game. That is live, and it is followed by the Bayside Conference Boys Soccer Match at 10.30. The final score on the DSN Plus app, that Bayside Conference Field Hockey Championship game. And then here are your DSN Plus exclusives. It's all Henlopen Conference Boys Soccer here. Starting at 5.30, Laurel visits Del Mar. At 6, Sussex Central takes on Dover. And at 6.30, it is Sussex Tech at Cape. Coming up, sinkhole scare as the flooding situation in Italy becomes dangerous. And we're looking at dry and chilly conditions this morning in Salisbury, waking up to 45 degrees, maybe a little bit of fog out there. Otherwise, another dry day for Del Mar, but with warm conditions. In fact, the dry weather continues for the foreseeable future with some cool downs. More on our drought conditions and when we could see our next chance of rain, if at all. Your full forecast coming up in two minutes. NBC Nightly News, weeknights at 6.30 on Coast TV. Ride the wave of Delmarva's vibrant coastal vibes with Coast Life. From hidden gems to sun-kissed trends and captivating local tales. Dive deep and immerse yourself in our coastal rhythm. Catch Coast Life weekdays at 4 on Coast TV. You want to feel important. You want to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. You want to feel like you belong. We know. We felt that way too. And that's why we did something about it. We are just Army National Guard soldiers. We are normal people just like you. And together, we can make a difference. Take on your legacy. To learn more, visit nationalguard.com slash DC. Are you having trouble hearing your TV or listening to conversations in loud spaces? Then it might be time to consider Nano Hearing Aids. Nanos are FDA-registered OTC hearing aids. Don't be fooled by overpriced hearing aids. Prescription hearing aids could cost $3,000 or more. Nano Hearing Aids are now offering $100 off through this special TV offer. Call now and get two CIC rechargeable hearing aids for only $297. And if if you're not happy, return them for a full refund. As a math teacher, Matt Meyer knows that Delaware's tax system isn't adding up. So he has a plan to fix it. Give middle class families a tax cut, invest in schools, and lower costs. But Mike Ramone's plan gives tax breaks to the ultra rich, which could cut education by nearly $175 million. Matt Meyer knows these numbers don't add up. He'll make state taxes fair so families can get ahead. Vote Matt Meyer for governor. Get the Coast TV News app, the latest and most up-to-date stories for your coastal community. Coastal news customized to your needs. Download the Coast TV News app on your Apple or Android devices. Coast TV, our community, your news. 546 on your Tuesday morning. Let's go now, take a live look at Salisbury. I don't even have to see the camera though, Bob. I know it's not raining there <laughs> or anywhere. Nope. Well, not anywhere near us. No, no, unfortunately not. I know we were talking about Italy seeing all this rain and flooding and sinkholes. I wish we had some of Italy's rain, but uh, we're not going to see that anytime soon. We continue with the drought conditions. Now the new drought monitor comes out on Thursday, so I'm sure this area's severe drought will probably expand across the area. But right now it's Millsboro, Lewis, Bethany Beach in the severe area with moderate dry conditions surrounding that and then abnormally dry through parts of northwest Sussex County and then back into the Ocean Pond. Pines area and not looking good for rain basically through the rest of October. Our six to 10 day outlook October 26th through the 30th. You can see this brown shading indicating the drier than normal conditions expected as we go through the next several days. So what you see is pretty much what you get. Temperatures now 49 in Seaford and Georgetown, 45 in Del Mar, red and 48 degrees, a little milder at the beach is 59 in Rehoboth, Bethany Beach at 57. Winds are light, but they're starting to come out of the west southwest so we're going to warm up after this chilly start we're seeing clear skies right now maybe a little bit of fog here and there otherwise just clear conditions all the way from the mid-atlantic up into the northeast as we have high pressure back to our west and that high expands back into the midwest as well the closest weather we can talk about is in the midwest and it's not all that impressive it's an area of low pressure with some rain across iowa missouri and into the upper midwest but that's going to dry out before it gets here so 
We're just looking at more dry weather to come. Here's future cast this morning. We're into the 40s and 50s across the area, so make sure you warm up the car, bundle up this morning, but then it's a quick warm up through the 50s and 60s this morning. By noon, we're into the low to mid 70s from Seaford back through Millsboro. Only 64 in Dewey Beach, Fenwick Island, maybe only in the 60s today, while inland it's mid to upper 70s, maybe close to 80 in a lot of places. Around 78 in Millsboro and 78 in Georgetown, and then we're going to cool it down as we go through this evening with clear skies once again. By midnight, cooling through the 50s. Could see some high clouds building in as we go through the overnight. Maybe some patchy fog Wednesday morning. Otherwise, it's more of the same. Moving into your Wednesday, temperatures mid to upper 70s away from the coast, and that the beaches were in the 60s, and then temperatures pretty cool heading into Wednesday evening. We've got the warm up over the top of us now, but then a front on Thursday will cool us back into the 60s for highs, but then it does start to warm up later into the work week and into the weekend. So we're looking at up and down temperatures as the dry streak continues. Paul Davis, seven day forecast. Today's the warmest day of the next seven. 81, sunshine, mostly sunny Wednesday, 79. And then there's that cool down Thursday, 67, mostly sunny skies, 69 Friday, Saturday, 72. Temperatures running a little bit below average and another cool down with highs only in the low to mid 60s Sunday and Monday. And yeah, the dry stretch continues until further notice. Thank you, Bob. Since Sunday afternoon, firefighter teams have been working in Calabria region of Italy to deal with the damage caused by rain. You can see some of the damage that is done to this road. Look at this. A car was sucked into a sinkhole. It's one of approximately 40 rescue operations Italian responders have worked on due to this rain and flooding. Italian Public Radio reports that all the passengers inside that car are safe. That's good to know. We have a reminder now for those in the Indian River School District. The district is still accepting donations for those impacted by Hurricanes Milton and Helene. Canned food, buckets, blankets, bandages, just a few of the items being accepted. Donations will be accepted at all district schools until Thursday. Still ahead this morning, vaccination warnings. The trend that the CDC says is a concern for children. Coast TV News Today will be back in a moment. At the Delmarva Design Center, appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring come together in one showroom. We have specialists in each division like myself and cabinetry to ensure that you have the best product to fit your needs. And your selection fits seamlessly with every element of your project. It was very important to find somebody that was knowledgeable in the whole picture, the cabinetry, the appliances, and the countertop. We are delighted with the outcome. Delmarva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware. Vacation starts with VA. All that you love, all in one trip. Start yours at Virginia.org. You push it. You try to hold them shut. But your doors won't stay closed no matter what. Introducing Ruby Monkey Magnets. Ultra-thin magnetic plates that will keep your doors and drawers shut. Just peel to reveal the super strong adhesive. Place the monkey, then the magnet, and close. Installation is that simple, and now you have a door that will stay shut. The secret is the ultra-strong industrial magnet's powerful attraction that holds tight. Monkey magnets work on most surfaces and are perfect for cabinets, dresser drawers, sliding closet doors, and more. Even your outdoor problems are solved in an instant because they're corrosion and rust resistant. Call or go online now to get eight sets of monkey magnets for only $9.99. Due to rising costs, this may be your last chance to get monkey magnets at this low price. There is a strict limit of one house pack per order. Call now. Call 1-800-453-9032. That's 1-800-453-9032. Call or visit monkeymagnets.com. So call 1-800-453-9032 now. Hi y'all, it's April from Coast Country, and every Tuesday I get the honor of highlighting an amazing teacher right here on Del Marvo with Teacher Feature. If you know a teacher who deserves some extra love, those who go above and beyond every day, head to coastcountry.com and nominate them today. Then tune in each Tuesday to hear their story. Teacher Feature right here every Tuesday at 11 on Coast Country 1039 and 1063. Sponsored by Coastal Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning and Vernon Powell Shoes. Here's Dr. Ron Leonard, our elder statesman. Now, how long have you worked here, Dr. Ron? Probably decades. Centuries. We used to drill holes in patients' heads to release evil spirits. But hey, that's the 80s for you.
Fewer kindergartners are getting their routine vaccinations when compared to pre-pandemic times. That's according to a new report from the CDC. Yeah, Mandy Gaither takes a look now at the data and has more on the potential implications of this decline. It's an alarming trend. During the 2023-24 school year, national kindergarten coverage with state-required vaccinations dropped to 93%, down from 95% between the 2019-2020 school year before the COVID-19 pandemic. It's enlightening and not surprising with what we've been through in the last four years. Dr. Jason Newland with Nationwide Children's Hospital says many infectious and preventable diseases aren't as prevalent anymore thanks to routine vaccines, but some are making a comeback. For example, this year alone, a total of 269 measles cases have been reported in more than 30 U.S. states as of October 17th. The CDC says 88% of those patients were either unvaccinated or their vaccination status is unknown. Measles can be extremely dangerous, leading to life-threatening illnesses. The CDC says vaccination is also the best defense against pertussis, but preliminary data shows more than five times as many cases have been reported at this time of year when compared to the same time last year. Maintaining our vaccine rates, whether it's measles, whether it's pertussis, whether it's influenza, whether it's COVID, will make our society and our most vulnerable healthy and our future healthy. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. It's now 5.55 this morning and we are going to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day. And today's Coastal Pet of the Day, this is Delilah or the Duchess of Sussex County. Oh. Yeah, Delilah is almost two years old, and Delilah was sent to us by Sonia in Milton. The Duchess of Sussex County. Interesting. Look, good almost two years old, too. Yeah, okay, very good. That's a, that's a high accomplishment before you're two, huh? Being to the become Duchess. become the Duchess of Yes. Uh, I don't know if it's. It, I, I put in county. I just said Duchess. It does say <laughs> Duchess of Sussex. I assumed county. Me, but too. It, it could be some royal title in England, perhaps? <laughs> perhaps. Well, either way, congrats, and uh, thank you, Sonia, for sending that to us. We want to see all your pets on Delmarva. Send us photos of your pets. Tell us what makes them so special. Yeah, you can scan that QR code at the top of your screen to submit your furry friend to us here at Coast TV News, and then you can watch weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. to see all the pets we feature. All right, coming up on 556, and we got to take a look at your forecast now before you head out the door. Bob, you know how challenging it is to come up with a new way to say, hey, Bob, it's going to be dry today, right? I know. It just gets, you know, this reminds me of my days when I worked back in uh, Grand Junction, Colorado, out in the desert areas where you go day after day after day of dry weather. It's rinse and repeat. And this is where we're at right now in Del Marva. More of the same. I guess enjoy what we have, but just really be careful out there. Of course, we've got all the burn bands in place. It stays very dry. We're looking at temperatures in the 40s this morning with the dry air, big temperature swings. 40s early on, and then that big warm up with sunshine into the afternoon, light southerly breeze at a high around 81 inland areas later today. A little cooler at the beaches. Paul Davis 10 day forecast, lots of sun icons. 79 on Wednesday, then a cold front moves through as we go into Thursday, and that will cool us back into the upper 60s. Overnight lows into the 40s. Friday, lots of sunshine, 69 degrees. Looking great for Friday night light. So uh, that's the upside for your outdoor activities. Looking great. Changes into the weekend, 72 on Saturday, and then 62 with a cold front on Sunday. So much chillier. Maybe a little frost by early next week, and then we head into Halloween week, so to speak. It's warming up from the 60s into the 70s, and by Halloween, well, 76 and dry. Hopefully we start to see some rain as we turn the page on a new month into November, but it looks like right now the rest of October is dry. Coming up at six, a proposed hotel in Rehoboth Beach was just approved for off-site parking, and I'll tell you why. This will allow the hotel to actually bring in more guests and why the community has mixed opinions about the approval. That and more when Coast TV News Today returns.